First of all, thank you all for helping this channel grow. We truly appreciate the support. Making these documentaries isn't easy. We do weeks, sometimes months of research. None of the narrator lines is copied from any website. All the lines were written by us. Thank you. Hope you enjoy. You're watching the Flyboy Gang story. Sit back and relax. In 2013, Manny started Clout Boys Entertainment. He had planned on signing all the FBG members. In July of that year, Young and Dutchie released the single Murder. It became their biggest song at the time. Manny paid for the video and had Clout Boy's shirts made. More fans began taking FBG serious. The sound and video quality were a whole lot better than their previous videos. FBG Young kills the first verse. His lyrics were both smooth and hardcore. Many Drill fans became interested in the young, talented rapper. In September of that year, FBG Duck became a top Drill rapper when he released Drill Classic, Right Now. It was Duck's biggest song at that point. The video quickly reached a million views. Everyone expected Duck to get signed. FBG Duck was hated by his ops. Not only was he a problem in the studio, Duck was a problem in the streets as well. Not only did he beat people up, he allegedly shot a few people as well. Let me make sure they remember this face. Remember this face. But they know I got bodies on my grandma. Shut up. O Block, TYMB, and 600 all wanted him dead. Duck played a huge part in the war. He had connections everywhere in Chicago. Like I said earlier, Duck come from a large family. Some are GDs, some are Mickey Cobras, some Black P Stones, and some are even BD. FBG began getting booked for shows, but members allegedly wasn't paid fair. Manny was being accused of stealing the artist's show money. Around this time, Duck, Billy, and King Lil J were all tired of not making real money. They learned that One Trey and other video directors were making money on YouTube from their music videos. They were famous, but broke. Some fans even believed they were rich. King Lil J, Billionaire and Duck become close with King Yella around this time. King Yella grew up blocks away on 73rd and Ada. Yella is a member of Skeezy World. Skeezy World is a GD set named after close friend of Yella. In 2013, Yella and King Lil J released a single by the name of Cloud. FBG Cash released his first mixtape titled No More Free Cash. He was no longer on house arrest and had allegedly signed a small deal with an independent record label. He began going by Cash Out 063. Manny wasn't happy about Cash signing the deal. They allegedly almost got into a fist fight over the situation. In December of that year, Cash released the single from his mixtape titled Patrick Ewing featuring FBG Young. The No More Free Cash mixtape didn't do as good as people thought it would do, but one track from the mixtape titled Dear Bostrel became an instant drill classic. 
On Labor Day 2013, Jerome Woods, also known as J Money, was allegedly shot and killed by Lil B. Around this time, many believe that STL and EBT were basically the same set. A lot of the older STL members claimed DBT before STL was even started. Lil B only claimed DBT. He allegedly had seven bodies, including Patoon, J Money, Jizzle, and Ball D. Lil B was feared in the Woodland neighborhood. Once again, K.I. took credit for the J Money hit just like she did O.D. Perry's back in 2011. O Block wanted her dead. 2014 was a hectic year for the Flyboy gang. First their close friend Lil B get murdered by the Chicago police. Weeks later their close friend K.I. gets murdered as well. Days before K.I. was murdered, Chief Keith sold her cousin G.B.E. Blood Money was killed. For some reason K.I. was been blamed for the murder. Sipping on blood money. On April 11th of that year, 17-year-old K.I. was shot and killed in front of F.B.G. Butter's house. Butter and another man were shot as well. King Von was identified as the gunman. There were a lot of people outside when the shooting took place, but everyone refused to rat. SDL was heartbroken and wanted revenge. Members such as Man Man, Dutchy, Lil J, Wooski, Cray Cray, and even Duck began sliding immediately. SDL really wanted King Vaughn and T Roy dead. The two made St. Lawrence a very dark place. SDL members knew that King Vaughn was K.I. and Modell's killer. They even knew that he was involved in P5 Crack's murder as well. O'Block was becoming feared. SDL and other sets used to sneak into Parkway and take pictures for social media. That changed in 2014. T. Roy, King Vaughn, Big A, and other O'Block members dared the ops to come. Young and Dutchy only released a few singles in 2014. They were trying to step away from the drill sound at the time and make trap music. Their videos Life I Live and Trap Doing Numbers both would have been minor hits if Young and Dutchy wasn't involved in the drill movement. Drill fans were disappointed with the two singles. The summer of that year, FBG Duck and Billion Air Black released the Street Banger Extra. King Lil J pretty much took over the drill scene in 2014. He was now known as the Clout Lord. He started the year out with releasing the singles Y and Drill Classic Bars of Clout. The Bars of Clout video quickly reached over a million views. King Lil J was now the biggest drill underground rapper. He should have been signed around this time. King Lil J kept the drill movement alive. His fan base was huge. Most of his videos were getting millions of views on YouTube. King Lil J would eventually stop hanging with FBG members. He was being accused of stealing money from Duck and scamming fans and other artists out of money. Around this time, FBG Butter was Lil J's right-hand man. They began hanging out every day. King Lil J looked out for Butter and kept him around. Butter had a strong name in the neighborhood. He had allegedly put in a lot of work for SDL, Jaro City, and Taekwong World. Lil J and Buddy even crossed King Yella. Not only did Lil J sleep with Yella's girlfriend, him and Butta stole King Yella's jewelry that he left at the girl's apartment. The FBG members were all still in the streets. They were allegedly still getting in shootouts and putting in work. Even FBG Duck continued sliding for the set. Jaro City. Taekwong World, EBT, and Ma Ball loved Duck. 
he was more powerful than what people thought. People think that Young wasn't in the streets like the other FBG members, but they are absolutely wrong. Young allegedly slid with other Restiel members a few times. On top of that, he'd been shot on multiple occasions. In September of 2012, Young was allegedly shot in the leg by O-Block member T. Roy. Back in 2013, FBG Young's gun was allegedly stolen by mob members. K.I. and Cray Cray went to get Young's gun back. They allegedly ended up kicking down doors and shooting at mob members. Minutes later, Beans from Mob came to the block and allegedly shot Young with his own gun. The beef between Nestiel and Mob was quickly over due to FBG Duck and Brick. Estiel and mob members got into it with each other months before FBG Young was shot. Mob members were upset about Estiel taking credit for murders that they didn't do. According to mob members, they're the ones who made O-Block. If this is true, why was Bostrel identified by witnesses and lied on by a close friend? Some believe that Bostrell was there when O.D. Perry was killed and may even fire shots. And the close friend who cooperated with the homicide detectives was only blaming the dead and protecting the living. Drill music began fading away around 2015. Chief Keefe and GBE were now living in California. Their music wasn't the same. Drill fans were more focused on the war that was taking place in Chicago. Lil Dirk was now living in Atlanta. Ella Capone was dead and Rondo No. 9 was incarcerated. Drill music wasn't the same. King Lil J was the number one drill rapper in the fans' eyes. Not only did he make good music, he was allegedly still in the street sliding as well. In total, King Lil J was shot 15 times. DJ Academics gave him the nickname The Wolverine. On May 4, 2015, a friend of Lil J by the name of Philman Razine was shot and killed in a shootout over a marijuana deal. The shooter claimed self-defense after being shot as well. FBG Butter and a female were both identified by witnesses at the scene. King Lil J, Butter and the female were all arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder and intent to kill and injure. Lil J didn't confess to anything. He claimed to be innocent and eventually was granted a $750,000 bond. Unfortunately, that was too much money for King Lil J family and friends to come up with. Lil J was forced to sit in the can. FBG Buddy allegedly cooperated with the cops to serve less time. He was later sentenced to eight years and King Lil J was sentenced to 14 years. In Chicago, most prisoners only serve 50% of the sentence if the Department of Corrections has determined that they have behaved well in custody and deserve good time credit. Around this time, Famous Dex began dropping mixtapes and would later get signed to Rich the Kid for Ever Rich record label. After losing his mother to breast cancer in 2014, Dex began taking music serious. Famous Dex became an instant star. FBG Duck had became the top underdog. He pretty much carried Def BG on his back. He was the only member who was relevant at the time. Billionaire Black had a decent fan base, but he wasn't one of the top drill rappers at the time. People didn't know that Billy was one of the first drill rappers. In October of 2015, FBG White Boy was shot and killed. 
White Boy was close to FBG members such as King Lil J, Billionaire Black, and Bada. In 2015, the world got to see Tukaville for the first time when Act TV took us inside. Not only did the interview give the world dark vibes, it made people even more interested in Tukaville. In the interview, FBG Duck tells us where the phrase smoking Tuka come from. In the 2001 stoner comedy film How High, rapper Method Man's character Solly smoked his deceased best friend's ashes for knowledge. SDL began calling their marijuana Tuka to honor their dead friend. We also learned in the interview that Tuka was a shooter. According to Wooski, him and Tuka shot stuff up together. A lot of Drill fans don't know that Tuka was a rapper. He would have most likely been a member of FBG. In December of 2010, Tuka posted some of his lyrics on social media. He was dissing Lil Mo from Lam Ron, who was just murdered. Months after Tuka's death, C. Day from 600 used Tuka lyrics in the song Man Down. Taekwon World didn't start making an aim for themselves until around 2015. KI and FBG Butta basically trained the young set to be shooters. Most of Taekwon World members claim Jaro City. At first KI didn't like the whole idea of the Taekwon World gang. She felt most of the members didn't really know her 13-year-old friend. Before KI was killed in 2014, she basically became TW's leader. Young members such as Bubble, TB and Poppy all came up under her wing. FBG Brick was released from jail in 2016 after serving four years. He began taking his music career serious. Brick became close with Taekwon World members. His right-hand man became Can't Get Right and they allegedly began sliding together. In 2017, Brick began dropping music. The first single he dropped was the Jumpman Freestyle. Drill fans took a liking to FBG Brick. Not only because he was Duck's big brother, the fans could sense the realness in Brick as well. You could hear the pain and struggle in his voice. You saw both good and evil in his eyes. Brick was a family man. He was known to be loyal and loving. Many say that Brick had the heart of gold. He gave people his last. Many don't know that Brick was a BD. He allegedly had a few bodies and shot a lot of people. Brick was more than a spotter. Some say that he had done so much dirt he began enjoying watching others doing it. Brick wasn't only a shooter, he knew how to fight as well. He was very respected. King Yella decided to leave Chicago and move to Vegas around 2016. He had connections there. After living with friends, Yella saved up enough money to get his own place. King Yella hooked up with other GDs in Vegas and continued putting out music. He began inviting FBG members such as Duck and Brick out to Vegas to visit him. Yella tried to convince Duck to move to Vegas. In May of 2017, King Yelly along with billionaire Black seen 600 Breezy at a Las Vegas shopping mall. Drill fans were disappointed that 600 Breezy was untouched. On July 19, 2017, FBG Brick along with his cousin Kobe Mack were both shot and killed. According to FBG Duck, Brick was waiting to be picked up to visit Tuka's grave site. <laughs> 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 
Lashina and Duck both rush to the crime scene. They see Brick and Kobe bodies covered with white sheets. Lashina breaks down crying. Brick was 26 years old and Kobe was 31. O'Block was blamed for killing Brick and Duck wanted revenge for his brother. After loosing Brick, Duck went even harder in the studio. He recorded Drill Classic Gang Anthem. Gang Anthem was released in November of that year. Duck and other FBG members thought that the Gang Anthem single was the one to get them a record deal. The video blew up on YouTube. Fans knew that Drill was back. In December of 2017, O'Block member King Vaughn was released from jail. STL knew that trouble was on its way. King Vaughn was a huge problem for STL. He was already being blamed for killing Modell, P5 Crack, and KI. Vaughn was a real demon. They hated King Vaughn. STL knew that O Block was stronger and more active with Vaughn around. Like I said before, King Vaughn made 63rd of St. Lawrence a very dark place. Around this time, Wooski was released from jail and ready to get in the booth. In January of 2019, he released Drill Classic Computers Remix and took Drill Music to another level. It was the first video most people seen when the crowd in the background is heard singing along. It was also the first time people heard a rapper diss a bunch of dead people in a song. The video went viral. In that same month, FBG Duck released the classic song Slide. Slide was an instant hit. It became FBG Duck's biggest song. The video quickly reached millions of views. FBG Duck was now a star. The song Slide landed him a record deal at Sony. This was a new beginning for FBG. Duck allegedly signed a deal for a $125,000. He was allegedly signed to Clout Boys Entertainment at the time so Manny who's the CEO of the label allegedly made over $300,000 from the deal. That caused a little tension between Duck and Manny. STL became a powerful set after Duck signed his record deal. More GD sets became STL allies. Everyone wanted to be around the money and fame. Years before, the young females in the neighborhood refused to be in any of FBG videos. The Flyboy gang were now making money. People in the neighborhood even thought that FBG Duck was a millionaire. Not only did Duck allegedly provide STL with more guns, he helped out a lot of people as well. Duck was looked at as the richest person in his neighborhood. He bought diamond watches and necklaces, drove around in expensive vehicles. FBG Duck was now Big Cloud. Lil Dirk had signed Memo 600, Just Blow and King Vaughn. So it was money on both sides at the time. That meant that it was more guns in O-Block, 600 in SDL. The war only got worse. Man Man was a frontline soldier for SDL. 
he was allegedly involved in a lot of shootings and murders. After seeing him with FBG Duck on's Act EV a few times in 2017, fans began thinking that Man Man was Duck's muscle. He was laid back but wild. Man Man was known to be a shooter. He slid with guys such as Wooski, Butta, Cole and Taekwong World members. Can't Get Right was just as much as Taekwong World as he was STL. Some say before his death, he was more closer to Taekwong World members than he was to STL members. Wooski was one of his closest friends. At the time, Wooski and Man Man were STL top hitters. They were the op's main targets. Back in February of 2017, Man Man was with TB from Taekwong World when he killed O-Block top hitter T-Roy. Man Man wasn't making money like the FBG members, he wasn't a rapper. All he allegedly did was rob people. After getting shot Man Man got a regular job and began earning money the right way. In June of 2018. Man Man was shot and killed leaving a nearby restaurant. An innocent 43-year-old man by the name of Troy Hampton was killed as well. Hampton was only cleaning outside of the store at the time. Yes, DL member returned fire but was unsuccessful. King Vaughn and Memo 600 both immediately go live on social media. According to SDL members, Man Man wasn't killed by the ops. He was allegedly killed by Melly in revenge for shooting him and killing Mubu Crump. He out there, he came, he stood up, you know. He stood tall when the time stood tall, did what he needed to do, you know. But. O51 Melly and FBG Duck had became good friends. Melly was a BD from a set called O51 Young Money. O51 Young Money is a renegade set mixed with maniac cobras, gangster disciples, black disciples, and black pea stones. Their main ops are THF46. Lil Dirk knew who Melly was. Melly was blamed for killing Dirk's cousin Nooski back in 2014. In 2015, he was blamed for killing Dirk's friend and manager Chino. And in 2018, Melly allegedly killed Lil Dirk's other cousin Baby D. Many wonder how FBG members were still cool with Melly if he murdered their close friend Man Man. Well, it's simple. They were both in the war fighting against the same side. Melly was also being accused of murdering Duck's younger cousin THF Rahim in 2015. Melly allegedly had 10 bodies. He was feared in the Woodland neighborhood. Just like everyone else, Melly seen Duck as a ticket out the hood. Lil Dirk was close friends with one of Melly's enemies, Bezu. This is one of the reasons Melly and Duck became so close. Melly had Duck's back. He even hung out at Lashina's and played cards. Melly was also close friends with Jaro City members Motor and Sai. They were the ones who brought Melly around. 
Wooski was one of the only STL members who wanted revenge for Man Man. Taekwong World members were upset as well. This put Duck in a difficult situation. At this point, the FBG crew had lost close to 50 friends in the streets to gun violence. They've seen more death than a horror movie marathon. Around this time, Billionaire Black had moved to Arizona. He was no longer hanging out on St. Lawrence. A rumor began spreading about him snitching on his younger brother Muscles about a shooting. My boy ain't telling on nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And I'm not just saying that because he's my homie. I'm too great. Because y'all see. If folks was telling, I would have told y'all as he was telling. <laughs> Oh, for them gray folks ain't telling. Folks know I would have told y'all he was telling. Billionaire Black started working with New York artists. In April of 2017, him along with Paparazzi Poe and Cordy B released Look At Me. While King Lil J and FBG Butter were serving time, rumors began spreading about the both of them. Lil J basically told the world that Butta snitched on him about the 2015 murder. Pictures of Butta being interrogated went around on the internet. King Lil J's mother was allegedly arrested for putting out the pictures. People who were incarcerated with Lil J shared stories about him that almost true in his rap career. FBG members began talking bad about him in interviews. It was clear that King Lil J burnt a lot of bridges when he was free. Lil J was very angry in jail. The only FBG member he kept in touch with was Billionaire Black. His friend rap star Famous Dex, who had a record deal at the time, said that he would have bonded King Lil J out of jail if he had the money. $750,000 is a lot of money even for a rap star. But according to Lil J, famous Dex even refused to give up $10,000. FBG cash name began ringing bells in the drill world at this time. He had released two bangers back to back. Run in Your House and Flight Both are now considered minor classics. Cash was more lyrical than the other FBG members. He didn't freestyle on tracks like the others. Most of Cash rhymes were written. In April of 2018, FBG Young released his biggest single so far, Do Do Da. And in June of that year, Dutchie released his biggest single also titled Teed Up. The Flyboy Gang was on their way to the top. In that same month, the Flyboy Gang released Drill Classic Chopper Party. Young's verse made it a classic. The way he started the song off gave fans a special feeling. If Young would have made more solo songs in the beginning, he would have been one of the top drill rappers in the game. Many fans thought that him and Dutchie were a group at first. In August of 2018, FBG Young released his first solo studio album titled Go Dumb, under Clout Boys Entertainment. The whole album was produced by Malcolm Flex. Many say that the album is wild and energetic. The album first single Cute B was a minor hit. In October of that year, Dooski the man from Mob was shot and killed. Dusky was close friends with Duck, Wooski, and other STL members. He was 25 years old. Days later, Dusky the man's funeral get shot up. Wooski and several mob members began shooting back.
a bullet struck Wooski in the head. Luckily, Wooski survives. He slowly recovers in the hospital. The injury allegedly caused minor brain damage. Wooski was now out of the game. King Vaughn was on his way to becoming a star at this time as well. In January of 2019, him and Memo 600 released Exposing Me. In the song King Vaughn dis Wooski took a scrap and Lil Mark. That made Duck very upset. The following month, Duck along with his cousin Ruga from Mob released Drill Classic Exposing Me Remix. Duck and Ruga's diss was clearly better than King Vaughn and Memo's. Ruga displayed his lyrical skills on the track. Months later, King Vaughn took over the drill scene when he released the hit Crazy Story 2 featuring Lil Durk. He was now a star and one of the hottest drill rappers on the scene. FBG Cash had to go and serve time once again for threatening a police officer. He wasn't released until the summer of 2020. As you all can see, Cash stayed in and out of jail most of his career. On September 1, 2019, 051 Melly went to a house party that was on Jaro City's territory. It was Man Man's birthday. Sets such as EBT, SDL, and TW members all came to celebrate. Man Man would have turned 24. There were two different Man Man birthday parties going on that night. Days before, Melly had allegedly shot up a Taekwong World member's home over a gambling debt. People warned Melly not to go to the party. Around 2.40 in the morning, while Travis from Jaro City was going live on social media, a TW member approaches Melly and let loose. Melly suffered numerous gunshot wounds to the body and was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. He was 27 years old. A rumor went around on the internet that Melly was back doored by Duck and other Restiel members. FBG Butta was released from jail. Many SDL members didn't want to hang out with him because of the snitching rumors. Butter has children with one of FBG Duck's sisters. So Duck and Butter were basically family. Butter appeared in FBG Duck's 2019 Drill Classic Pain video. In December of 2019, FBG Duck tried something different. He released the single Chicago Legends. In the song Duck pay homage to deceased Chicago rappers such as Lil Pappy, Lil Jojo, Zack TV and even his op Frito Santana. Many thought that the song would bring peace in Chicago. The video did millions of views but the war still wasn't over. Duck was allegedly upset about his contract and blamed Manny. This is when FBG and SDL began falling apart. Wooski was no longer active in the streets or studio. It's obvious that the shot to the head damaged Wooski not only physically but mentally as well. FBG Young had stopped hanging out with a lot of SDL, Jaro City, EBT and TW members. He stayed in the house and allegedly sold marijuana. Duck would often come to visit and buy marijuana from Young. Although the two wasn't hanging out every day, they still loved each other. Twenty twenty was King Vaughn's year. 
Not only was he the top drill rapper, he was one of the top rappers in the game period. O'Block was very powerful at this time. Not only did they have soldiers, they had a lot of money and weapons as well. King Von wasn't like Chief Keef, FBG Duck, or G Herbo. Von was a real killer. Even while making millions of dollars, King Von still wanted the war to go on. Not only did he continue dissing the Ops, he basically became the leader of the O-Block Gang. King Von really hated SDL. It started way back in 2008 when FBG Buddy allegedly beat him up on the school bus. FBG Brick allegedly told Butter to pull Vaughn off the bus so they could shoot him. King Vaughn was allegedly saved by the gang Killer Ward. Killer Ward is a mostly GD set that Vaughn claimed before claiming Wick City. Vaughn hung out with the young Jaro City and EB team members when he claimed Killer Ward. His sister on his father's side by the name of Kayla grew up in No Love Territory. Kaylee allegedly dated a guy from Jaro City and began hanging out in Tukaville. She even hung out at Lashina's and G. Daisky's. Kayla began claiming Jaro City. King Von came home from jail and realized that things were different. Several of his close friends were murdered while he was incarcerated. His close friend D-Dog was shot and allegedly couldn't walk the same. King Von made sure to diss took a villain most of his songs. He made 63rd look really bad. His diss songs were beyond disrespectful. 05 One Young Money wanted revenge for Melly. They started Melly Way and began sliding on Taekwong World members. STL, EBT, and Jaro City all stayed out of it. Taekwong World was now all alone. In May of 2020, billionaire Black's little brother Richie Jerk from TW was allegedly shot and killed by Melly Way members. He was 22 years old. Billionaire Black was heartbroken. He wanted revenge for his little brother. But STL didn't want to get involved. FBG Young, Cash, and Dutchie didn't diss the dead at first. They would only send the little shots here and there. Dissing the dead makes you a huge target in Chicago and they wasn't ready for that at the time. Dissing the dead may get you millions of views on YouTube, but it's not worth the consequences. On July 10th of 2020, FBG Duck released Dead Bees. In the song, Duck diss most of O Block and 600 deceased members. The video did millions of views. Cash and Young wasn't seen in the video and that was very strange to drill fans. Dead Bees was an important song. Everyone knew that it was going to be huge. Cash and Young both should have been in the video. Fans knew that something wasn't right. FBG Duck still had issues with Manny about his contract and that had allegedly caused minor tension between FBG Duck and Manny's children as well. Duck was allegedly working on a record deal with rap a lot. According to Lashina, Duck no longer wanted to work with Manny and Clout Boys Entertainment. On August the 4th of that year, FBG Duck was shot over 15 times in the Gold Coast of Chicago. He was later pronounced dead at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. FBG Duck was 26 years old. Once again, O'Block was blamed for the murder. Police were posted near Parkway for days because they feared retaliation. Not only Chicago, but the whole real world was now dark.
FBG Duck helped make drill music what it is today. Fans wanted Duck and the Flyboy Gang to win. They were always the underdogs. Losing Duck made Destiel a lot weaker. Not only did Duck provide weapons for the gang, most of their allies came from relationships Duck had with certain gang members. To make matters worse, Lashina began attacking Manny on social media. She felt that Manny owed Duck money from his record deal with Sony. Manny was so upset that he didn't help pay for Duck's funeral. Lashina expected a lot more from the man who Duck looked at as a father. There was a rumor going around on the internet that Cash had backdoor Def BG Duck. None of Manny kids were invited to Duck's funeral. Young and Jio came to the funeral anyway to say goodbye to their childhood friend. Cash joked around on social media but was really heartbroken. He began releasing music back to back. FBG Cash had built a decent sized fan base. In his songs he would send out a few sneak disses but nothing major. Drill fans wanted to see the Flyboy gang go hard for Duck. Many thought that it was over for not only FBG but SDL as well. Sets such as EBT, Taekwon World and Mob were no longer their allies. EBT members began exposing members of STL. Wooski was no longer hanging out with STL members. Him and his girlfriend were together every day. She looked out for him as he slowly recovered. It was clear that Wooski was no longer interested in making music. After FBG Duck was killed, people such as Ruga and Billion Air Black began putting out diss songs. Billy dropped Drill Classic Benihibachi and Ruga dropped Drill Classic for Duck. They both became loved in the drill world even more. Ruga would later sign a record deal and work with superstar Kanye West. King Von was now the biggest drill rapper ever. Some even called him the two-pack of drill. FBG was no competition at the time. In November of 2020, King Von was shot and killed outside an Atlanta nightclub. He was 26 years old. O-Block members BJ and T-Roy's older brother Slutty were both shot by Atlanta police. BJ survives, but unfortunately Slutty didn't make it. Boss Stop was allegedly arrested for trying to fight the police and Muwap showed true courage by punching Quando Rondo while Lil Tim was aiming a gun at him. Drill fans fell in love with Muwap at that moment. O-Block members Moo Wop and DQ began releasing music after King Von's death. Moo Wop was next in line to be the face of O-Block. A rumor went around that he was FBG Duck Skiller. That only made Drill's fans more interested in the up-and-coming rapper. Mana Duke was released from jail and began putting out music. Mana Duke is one of O-Block's most respected members. Him and his brother Booby grew up with guys such as Trey Five, e Dog, BJ, J Money, and T-Roy and his brothers. Mana Duke is the cousin of fallen O-Block member Patu. After O-Block lost J Money, Big Eye, and T-Roy, people looked at them as a weak set. King Von was incarcerated at the time and No Block only had a few known hitters. Mana Duke along with T-Roy's younger brother HK allegedly started the Get Back Gang after T-Roy was murdered. The Get Back Gang made O Block a strong set once again. King Von was proud of Mana Duke. In the 2018 song Beat That Body, 
Vaughn said he'll take Duke on a hit with him he's like King Kong. What King Vaughn was saying is that Muna Duke was a real hitter. Mu Wap, DQ and Muna Duke continued dissing Tukaville. O'Block was still winning the war. Cash continued dropping music. He began doing more interviews to promote the FBG brand. In his first interview with Drio, Cash made it clear that there's only four official FBG members and that's Young, Dutchie, Duck and himself. That's how Cash wanted it to be for a long time. Cash had a lot of love for Melly. He threw up wise to pay respect to Melly and 051 Young Money. This caused tension between him and Billionaire Black, and it caused tension between Nastiel and Taekwong World also. Many don't know that Lashina Children and Manny Children had even gotten into it after Duck was killed. Manny's house was even allegedly shot up. Things were really getting out of hand. Lashina started Big Clout Records and signed a few artists. She used Def BG Duck's YouTube channel to promote the music. Lashina continued attacking Manny on social media. In June of 2021, Lil Dirk sold her brother D-Thang was shot and killed outside of a Chicago nightclub. And in August of that year, 600 Membri Day was shot and killed as well. Some say that both murders were revenge for FBG Duck. In October of 2021, five O-Block members, including Moo Wap and C Murder, were charged with the murder of FBG Duck. I got, they got them. They got these some of us. They got them, they got them, they got them, they got them, they got them. In that same month, Cash close friend Fat Shorty from Jaro City was shot and killed along with Skinny. Fat Shorty was one of FBG Cash's best friends. Some say that Cash was more closer to Fat Shorty than he was to Duck. Cash looked at Dutchie, Duck, Wooski, and a lot of other STL members as his little brothers. Fat Shorty was allegedly a big-time pot dealer. At one point, Fat Shorty was allegedly making more money than the FBG members. Fat Shorty was known to be genuine and kind-hearted. He was really loved in the neighborhood. Skinny was another well-known Jaro City member. He allegedly killed O-Block member T. Roy's younger brother HK back in 2017. HK is short for Headshot King. He was one of the leaders of the Get Back Gang. The Get Back Gang allegedly murdered Poppy, TB, Kobe, and FBG Brick. Killing HK was a big deal. A rumor began going around that Skinny snitched on Lil B from EBT about a 2011 murder. The rumor didn't stop Skinny from hanging out in the neighborhood. Him and Fat Shorty were still good friends. On October 29th of 2022, both Fat Shorty and Skinny attended a private party at Michelle's ballroom. Just before midnight, Fat Shorty and Skinny had allegedly gotten into an argument with each other. Minutes later, Skinny allegedly shot Fat Shorty multiple times and ran off. According to witnesses, a man wearing a green hoodie chased Skinny down and shot him multiple times. FBG Cash was allegedly the man in the green hoodie.
This really broke Cash hard. He didn't attend the funeral for some reason. Cash was ready for a change. He was tired of losing friends in the streets. At this point, Cash had lost over 50 close friends in the streets. The ops continued dissing. It wasn't fun because FBG wasn't fighting back. Tuka, Duck, and Wooski were all being dissed on wax. True FBG fans were getting frustrated. FBG Cash had enough. He knew that it was time to fire back. In February of 2022, Cash took a picture standing in front of King Von's mural. This got Lil Dirks and other OTF members' attention. Days later, Cash released Drill Classic back again two times. The video blew up fast before been taken down. At first, Cash used King Von's back again instrumental, but he redid the beat and uploaded the video again. The video still did really good in views. This was the first time Cash disrespected the dead and called out his ops by name. Drill fans were impressed. They loved seeing FBG fight back. Cash continued dissing OTF members. Even Young and Dutchie started dissing the dead and calling out names. This what Drill fans had been waiting for. It was like watching the last fight scene in a Rocky movie. FBG Cash signed a deal with Rap A Lot Midwest. He had finally made it. After all the blood, sweat, and tears, the Flyboy gang were back in the door. Lil Durk dissed both Wooski and FBG Cash in the song Computer Murderers. Since the death of FBG Duck, Dirk began dissing SDL members and even calling out names. King Lil J was released from jail in April of 2022 and got right back to work. He released First Day of Clout and took over the underground drill scene once again. King Lil J continued putting out music. All of his videos on YouTube were quickly reaching millions of views. The Clout Lord was back. Drill fans wanted to see him, Billy, and the Flyboy gang all together again. On June 10, 2022, FBG Cash was shot and killed. He was allegedly driving to a family member's house with a female friend when a black, four-door sedan approached and the gunman got out and opened fire. Cash had allegedly jumped out of the vehicle and returned fire but lost the gunfight. The gunman returned to the sedan after firing more shots and fled the scene. FBG Cash was shot over 13 times and was pronounced dead at Christ Medical Center in Oakland at around 7.50 in the morning. Cash was 31 years old. Cash knew that making back again two times was risking his life. But he took that chance anyway. He wanted more for his family. Just like Duck. Cash's death broke a lot of Drill fans' hearts. People really wanted to see FBG Cash make it. On July 4 of 2022, five O-Block members, including Boss Stop, were shot inside of O-Block. In that same month, King Lil J was arrested on gun charges. He allegedly violated his probation and will be sitting in jail for a few years. FBG Young and Dutchie continued putting out music. Young was deeply hurt after losing his older brother but didn't show it to the world. He continued to make music and is currently working on a studio album titled We From 63rd. 
Drill fans are expecting both Young and Dutchy to go crazy on this album. The SDL and O Block War is pretty much over. Most of the original members on both sides are either dead or in jail. In Drill fans' eyes, OTF won the war when Duck was killed. The Flyboy Gang deserves their flowers while they're here to smell them. FBG Young, Dutchy, Duck, Billionaire Black, King Lil J, Wooski, and Cash will all go down as legends in the drill world. Well, that was the Flyboy Gant story. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.